Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the DC transient response of oral circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications, soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, DC transient of oral circuit, problem number 4. First we will refer the circuit diagram. So this is the circuit diagram given, 120 voltage source is available, there are two positions are there. 20 ohm resistor is connected, here coil is there, RL, resistor and inductor, 10 Henry and 40 Henry, here one, one more resistor RD is available, while connecting at position 1, RD is disconnected, only this resistor and coil is connected, when the switch is connected to second position, this RD also included, RD, 20 ohm resistor and coil, in the position 2, now we will see the statement of the problem, what is given in the statement of the problem. In the circuit shown below, the switch was initially in the position 1, initially kept in the position 1, so RD is not included. We need to find the 3 subdivision, for RD equal to 500, find the voltage across the coil, the instant at which the switch is changed to position 2. Initially at position 1, now position 2 is changed. RD value is given 500, we need to find the voltage across the coil, so first question. Calculate the value of RD for the voltage across the coil reduced to 120 voltage at the instant of switching. Here RD value is given, we need to find the voltage, here voltage is reduced to 120, for that we need to find RD value. With the value of RD in case, find the time taken to dissipate. 95 percentage of energy store, that is the third question, right. The RD value what is given in the same case is there, we need to take the same value of RD, for that we need to find energy store to dissipate 90 percentage of the stored energy, right. Now we will see the first question, the RD value is given, we need to find the voltage across the coil. So here in this circuit, while connecting to position 2, what are the things we have? RD is there, 20 ohm resistor is there and coil is available. So here the applied voltage is 0 here. Uh, we need to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Applied voltage is 0, that is 0 equal to voltage drop across these three elements, RD, 20 ohm resistor and coil, that is equal to 0. Voltage source is not available. So based on that, we can write the Kirchhoff's voltage law. First we will find the steady state current when the switch is in position 1. So that is equal to 120 voltage is applied divided by 20 plus 40. So 120 divided by 60 it is 2 ampere. So when it is in the position 1, switch is at position 1, applied voltage is 120. The resistor is this 20 ohm resistor and 40 ohm resistor, 20 plus 40. So 120 divided by 20 plus 40. 120 divided by 60 is 2 ampere. So now we will calculate the current. Now we can go for the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now with RD is 500, is given in the first division. The switch is changed to position 2. Now we can apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL. So there is a voltage source is no, available, not available, 0. Voltage rise equal to voltage drop. Voltage rise is 0. First 2 into 500, RD. 2 into 500. Another resistor, 2 into 20. This 2 is nothing but current. I into R. This is I into RD. This is I into R. Voltage across the coil we need to find. That is the question. That is equal to 0. So 2 into 500, 1000. 2 into 20, 40. Plus voltage across the coil equal to 0. So 1040 equal to voltage across the coil equal to 0. Bring this 1040 that side. Minus it become minus 1040 voltage. The sign indicates that voltage is in opposite direction. The voltage across the coil is opposite direction. So first we, the first division we calculated the voltage across the coil minus 1040 voltage. Now we will go to the second subdivision. So in the second subdivision we need to find the RD value. The voltage is reduced to 120. Right? The voltage is given we need to find RD value. Same KVL is applied. Voltage drop across RD is RD into 2 plus 20 ohm resistor, 20 ohm into 2 ampere minus the coil is the given, the 
voltage across the coil is minus 120 that is equal to 0. So 2RD plus 40 minus 120 equal to 0. 2RD 40 minus 120 is minus 80. Bring this 80 that side so it become plus 80. So RD equal to 80 divided by 2 it is 40 ampere 40 ohm right. So second subdivision voltage is given we calculated the RD by using the same formula Kirchhoff's voltage law. Then we need to find the energy stored. Then we need to find energy dissipated. 90% is of energy dissipated. So first we will find the energy stored. Then we will find 90% of what is the current required to, the, uh, to determine the 90%. So energy stored equal to half Li square. We know that energy stored in the coil is half Li square. Capacitor means half Cv square. Here half Li square. Inductor based on current. So half into inductor value is 10 into current is 2 ampere that we calculated initially. So 2 square means 4. 4 divided by 2, 2, 2 into 10, 20 joules. Right? So the 20 joules is the energy stored. Now we will see what happened if it is 95 percentage. Given that 95 percentage of energy is dissipated. So the residual energy is 5 percentage. So that the energy stored equal to 0 0.05 into 20 equal to 1 joule. So this residual energy is 1 joule. Out of 100, 95 is dissipated. 5 is residual energy. That 5 is nothing but 5 means 5 divided by 100. 0 0.05 into 20. Total energy 20. 1 joule. So half Li square equal to residual energy. From that we can find the current value. Half into L value is 10. I is not available. I we need to find. Right? That is the question. We need to find the question is time taken. We need to find. So first we are calculating current. So 1 by 2 plus 10 into 10 into I square equal to 1. So this goes 2 times. So 5 I square equal to 1. I square equal to 1 divided by 5. I equal to square root of 1 divided by 5. 0.447 ampere. Finally, we need to find the current time taken. What is the time taken to reach 95%? Now, we calculated the current. Now, we will see the next thing. This case, a decay of current in RL combination. The equation is for I is given by. So, it is decaying. So, there is a two things available. Charging and discharging. Here, this is coming under second case. This, this decaying. So I equal to I e power minus R by L t. This is a standard equation. This derivation is available separately. So here I is 2 amperes. R is nothing but 40 plus 40 plus 20 equal to 100 ohm. Right. So this 40 plus 40 is nothing but it is given in the problem itself. This 20 ohm is already given. 40 ohm is the uh, 40 ohm is the resistance of the coil this 40 is the uh, this 40 is nothing but rd value so we need to rd value available in the second case we are used for third case also first case rd given 500 ohm second case we calculated the rd as 40 ohm 40 ohm that 40 ohm we are using this that is given in the problem itself what is calculated in the second case the same value of rd so rd 40 this resistor value of the coil 40 and one more resistor 20 so it is 100 100 ohm l is already given 10 henry now we can substitute all the value i equal to i e power minus r by l t so i is 0.447 that we calculated here equal to 2 ampere this steady state current e power minus 100 by 10 into t now we can go for further simplification so 0.447 equal to 2 e power minus 10 by t. That is minus 100 by 10 is 10 t. Bring these two in the denominator. 0.447 divided by 2 that is 0.2235. That is equal to e power minus 10 t. Now from that how to find the t value? We need to take the log on both the side. Log with base e. Multiply with log. Log 0.2235 equal to log to the base e e power minus 10 t. So this value log 0.2235 is minus 1.5. 
this e power minus 10t will be come in the new in the in this portion beginning so log b base e right e power this power will come in the front right log e base e is 1 that value is 1 so that minus 1.5 equal to minus 10t so minus minus got cancel 1.5 divided by 10 equal to t so t equal to 1.5 divided by 10 means 0.15 seconds so time taken to dissipate 95 percentage is 0.15 seconds so in this problem we discuss the rl circuit three different cases we discuss first case is we need to find the voltage across the coil for rd value is given second case voltage across the coil is reduced to minus 120 for that we find the rd value with this rd value we calculated the energy dissipated 95 percentage of energy dissipated time taken is calculated 0.15 subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening